Oh, look at this. Guess what I'm doing? I am editing the first video ever on the personal channel. Look at that. Uh, but what I noticed though was that when I started this video, it was early in the morning and I had hardly woken up myself. So I, yeah, maybe I, I didn't seem very you know energetic and happy as I should be for the first upload on the personal channel. So I figured I'd just throw in a quick little intro here as I'm finishing up editing the video and getting it up to you guys today on the same day uh, that you're watching this. It's actually the same day that I'm filming and editing. Sunday. Just want to say I appreciate you guys. We were aiming at getting a thousand subs. We're approaching like almost four thousand now uh, at like 2.40 p.m. Um, so this video should be up for you guys in maybe another half hour uh, and I really appreciate it. Uh, remember to follow me on Instagram as well. My, my personal Instagram that is. Uh, not the autoblog one but the personal one. I'll link it in the description. It's just Mike Vime. I only have like I think 300 followers there or something. I haven't used that account in forever. I made a post in like maybe 2022 before that. The pictures you're going to see they're like from 2014. I haven't even used that account. So when I start my personal YouTube channel, I'm going to use my personal Instagram as well. Don't go on following Autovlog here now or anything like that. This is just extra. All right. <laughs> well, let's jump into the first video on the personal channel. It's just like a, a daily vlog. Enjoy. Yeah, buddy. It's on now. So we were aiming at a thousand subs for the new channel initially till I started uploading. So yesterday I, I did the video where I announced the new uh, personal channel and <laughs> it's like six in the morning and we already have about 3,000 subscribers so I guess I'm just gonna start the video with what I usually start my my days with and that is uh, my morning walk I've had bad like shin splints problems but the one pair of shoes or the one brand of shoes that have really helped that out are Hocus it goes without saying with this puny little channel that is not a sponsored post no, but they're really good. I guess they're just soft enough for whatever for my feet. And uh, I mean, like I couldn't even take walks without my shin splints just burning, let alone going for runs and stuff. So I'm trying to level up slowly where I can eventually start jogging again like I did back in the day. So let's go. Yeah, so these walks are a great way to start your morning. I do, like I said, about four miles. Get your metabolism going and you just start the day in a good way i burn about 500 some calories as you guys are about to see i love doing it in the morning i mean it's getting light out now but like there's not a soul out here I try to do it at least five times a week depending on what, what time frame i'm working with when i'm at home a lot then i do have time to do it seven days a week it burns some of that fat off my fat ass that's been storing for years i used to always be good with you know working out and stuff like that but my older years i got a little lazy that's changing now though now this hill gets me every time you keep the same pace the grand is raining but I'm sweating my ass off all right so we're pretty much done 4.09 miles says my eye watch and don't worry these videos are not going to be about me taking walks all the time but that is uh, basically how I start my day every day. And uh, it's interesting how my eye watch shows a different distance than uh, the run keeper, as you guys can see as well. I figure they go off with the same GPS, but I guess not. But yeah, that's the start of my morning. Usually I'm just drenched in sweat. Now I'm drenched in sweat and rain because it's been uh, sprinkling the whole time I've been walking. And then after I've had my walk, it's time for the doggies walk. Look at Lamba, how big he is. For those of you guys who have been following their little Instagram page, He's still a pup, but he's taller than Gucci now. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. So this is Gucci. That's Lambo. My first Lamborghini is a dog. Oh, buddy. Oh. And uh, it's a hassle taking these for a walk at the same time. So it's always one at a time. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh huh. Hey, Gucci. You want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Hey, you got to wait, bud. Oh, you want to go for a walk? I go for a walk. Right, let's go. Oh, you're taking a dump? Oh. All right, so one lap done with her. Look at Lambo. You can hardly see him through the door. <laughs> He's so dark. It's so funny being on a walk with him because he looks... <laughs> oh, buddy. He looks like a bear cub. <laughs> All right, back home. So the interesting thing about this breed of dog, 
I mean, as you guys can see, they're extremely cute. They're fluffy. People love them when they see them on the street, especially kids. And they always want to pet them. But chows, they're, they're just, they're different breeds. They just don't, they don't care much about other people. They're extremely loyal to their family. But unless they're integrated with people at a very young puppy stage, and I mean a lot of integration, they're going to be kind of standoffish. They're not like aggressive towards other people, but they're very standoffish. They just don't, they don't care. So most of the time they don't want people to pet them. Which is a little sad because they're so cute. You have a little booby on your eye, huh? Do you? You've been fighting? Oh, oh, look at that pretty girl. Oh, he's such a pretty girl. Oh. Okay, so I uh, switched to my actual vlog camera. At the beginning of the video, I was filming with my iPhone. I actually really like filming with the iPhone because their lens is amazing. From just a, like a video aspect, the iPhone is great. It's just the audio isn't always as good on the iPhone. But anyhow, I brought out my vlog camera here now because being a YouTuber, you know, whether it's on this channel or the Autovlog channel, you get kind of like obsessed with analytics because that's how you, you know, you track how your channel's doing, how it's performing, you know, your ad revenue and so on. Now that I'm kind of on like this little fitness journey here, I want to get back in shape. I'm going to be 45 years old in just a few days. My goal is to be in the best shape of my life when I'm 45 years old. So last Christmas, uh, I got this iWatch from my wife and it's one of the best gifts ever because it tracks a lot of stuff. It tracks my sleep. So my sleep goal is at least seven hours a night. Doesn't always happen, but that's my goal. <laughs> I beat it by three minutes last night. I've already done 10,000 steps today. So my walk that I do myself, which is four miles, and then I take them for a walk around the neighborhood and then, you know, walking around the house and doing whatever. I've gone 5.7 miles so far and it's only nine o'clock in the morning. Active energy, like the calories that I've burned from actually moving around, is almost a thousand already. I'm like obsessed with tracking all this stuff now. Because <laughs> when I moved to this country uh, back in 2012, uh, I was like, what was I, 33? I was 185, that's what I weighed. And that was kind of like my normal weight for, I don't know, about 10 years. Uh, I would, you know, work out somewhat regularly. I wasn't like some fitness buff or, you know, anything crazy like that, but I was always like staying in shape and keeping around that weight. And then uh, being in this country for a, a, a few years, I gained a lot of weight, especially the, a lot of that was COVID though. Cause you know, during the lockdowns and stuff, we would sit here and like three o'clock came around and we were like, oh, I guess it's a uh, drink time. You know, we'd be out like grilling or whatever and like drinking alcohol like every day. And you become like, cause I mean, like the responsible thing to do back then was just sit at home and do nothing. So we just sat here, we ate, drank, and it became like a different lifestyle. And I put on a lot of weight. So at the height of that, I was like 230 pounds, which is ugh, awful. So now I started uh, this 12-week um, workout program. I was 219. I have lost some weight. And then now uh, I'm down to 215. And at the end of this, my goal is to have put on muscle and lost more weight, obviously. I want to be around 200-ish. So you guys will be able to follow along in that and, um, you know, in a way, keep me accountable, which is good because when I'm documenting it on video, you know, now I've said that I want to go down to 200, um, you know, I put that necessary pressure on myself to actually follow through and do it. So by December, what is it, like 16th or something like that, that's when I'm done with the 12-week the workout program thing and I should be down to 200, hopefully. As long as like I feel like I feel good and my body looks good, it doesn't really matter if I'm down at 200 or not. But if I've packed on enough muscle um, and just gotten strong and, and feeling good, that's what really matters. But if I can be at 200, I'd, I'd be happy. So all around the house, we have to have these gates because we have cats down here. Or a cat, I should say, that uh, is afraid of the dogs. And she's older. All she pretty much does is just lay down here and uh you know the dogs want to play with her so they kind of like terrorize her and yeah so we have to keep a gate here so they don't get downstairs got a hot tub right here massaging chair got infrared sauna and then down here I actually have a little gym area and stuff uh funny thing is like treadmill and stuff i'm too tall so i have my head in the drop down ceiling here <laughs> i can't really use these things uh, but i do however do some push-ups and stuff down here got a tv and 
Oh, I've just got a pan on stuff here. Now, I go to the gym six days a week now. And today is actually my day off. Um, but on my day off, I still like to get, you know, my walk in and then uh, maybe just do like a set of push ups. So I, I stay active. So that's what we're going to do right now. So yeah, I like to do uh, four sets, 25 reps each, just for like extra push-ups. You can see here, dude, I look pregnant. What the hell? I mean, I pull it in, dude. See? So I gotta work out, man, I can't look pregnant. I look pregnant. <laughs> Wanna do push-ups? Huh? You wanna do push-ups? You meow you meow like an old lady. I gotta do push-ups. You fatty, huh? <laughs> you living the good life down here, just eating and sleeping. You should be doing push-ups. I love it when you start feeling stronger. Usually on the third set of those 25 reps, I'd have to like take a breather after 15 reps. Now I don't really have to do that anymore, so I guess I should start up in the reps. Actually what I should be doing is using these every time, because this makes it so much harder. So the last set, we're gonna do with these little push-up handles. All right, here we go. I don't know if I'll make 25, but we're gonna uh, try. Yeah, definitely heavier. <sighs> Alright, well there it is. Today's workout is in the books. And this is my day off. Alright, so it's time for some breakfast. This is a salt that I bought in Sweden. It's like an herbal salt. You can find this on Amazon. I'll try to link it in the description. I can't believe I'm linking freaking herbal salt in the description of my videos. But this isn't a car video, so yeah, I mean, this is what I put on my eggs. We got some oatmeal up in here. bananas in your oatmeal you're missing out yeah see this is a lot of protein I love it and don't worry I'm not planning on uh, this channel becoming some kind of food blog thing whatever but I'm just covering random shit that I do every day in my daily life and uh, the only protein bar that I really eat I'm not some dietitian expert here or anything like this I'm not trying to give people advice but this is the best tasting uh, protein bar in my opinion. I don't know if it's the most nutritious one But still if you eat a lot of candy bars and stuff like that This is way better than eating a candy bar. That's for damn sure 26% protein. I hope this can uh... and My favorite flavor is salted caramel. I'll link this in, this in the description as well for anyone that Possibly wants to try them out man. They're so good As you guys might be able to tell protein rich diet I'm like a meat potatoes guy um, I eat a lot of eggs 
you know, oatmeal, stuff like that. The only thing with this one though is it's like a, a, a wafer, so it's very like crumbly. It'll make a mess. You know what I just remember? That background music you guys heard while I was mowing the lawn. It's actually an account that I have for the Autoblog channel. It's with a company called Epidemic Sound. That's what a lot of YouTubers use. It's a subscription fee. So uh, I might probably have to get another account for this channel. But anyhow, it's 2 o'clock. We've gotten a lot done today. I actually want to get this video edited and up today, Sunday, uh, same date that you guys are watching it. So we have a video up on the new channel. And not every video is going to be obviously like this where I'm mowing the lawn and you know working on <clears throat> we gotta do whatever. And we're kinda like free on this channel. We can do more stuff. So if you have any content ideas, leave them in uh, the comments section. I'm gonna read like all the comments because they're probably not gonna be that many because it's a smaller channel. So leave your comment and your suggestion of what type of videos you guys want to see. Now I will be doing like everyday stuff as you guys have seen in today's upload. Like you know working out, the dogs, maybe like when I go play some golf, stuff like that. But anything else that you guys want to see, go ahead and leave suggestions man. I'm open to it. I'm actually pretty excited to have a second channel and it's, it's kind of fun. What do you think Lambo? Huh? What do you think buddy? Oh. Oh, oh little bud. How do you think it's a Oh, such a sweet, cute little girl. Oh. oh whoa, check that out. We got th almost 3,600 subscribers already, and it's 2.02 p.m. So this video should be able to be up by maybe, I don't know, like 3 or 4, because I've edited most of it. Thanks, guys, to everyone who subscribed. I didn't, I didn't know that many would want to subscribe, to be honest. Uh, just keep it going, of course. And if you're still watching this video, I'm very grateful because I need the watch time on this channel. It's my first upload. <laughs> but yeah, I figured we possibly would reach a thousand subs. But now that we're, you know, approaching almost 4,000, that's great. Well, the one guy you guys haven't met yet, and that is our second cat. What's up, buddy? Hi. Oh. He likes to lay on top here on uh, Sydney's bunk bed and get his naps in without anyone bothering him like this dude right here <laughs> and this little thing is a GPS so people usually think it's a shock collar or something whenever I've you know shown him in videos but yeah this is our little Maine Coon Sosa what are you doing dude what are you doing you have dirty paws But yeah, I guess uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, my wife's not home at the moment, and neither is Sydney, so it's just me. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first little whatever vlog on the personal channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And now I'm starting like the same outro I do on the Autoblog channel. Maybe we need to come up with a, another one, but we'll stick with that one for now. Stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.